welcome to this novice player's guide to the fast action packed game Iron Sight. The gun to break this cherry is the one and only Heckler & Koch 417, a semi-automatic rifle used by many nations of note, such nations such as Germany, the United States of America and the Irish Defence Unit League. In game she's breathtaking, just like the real one. Her unlocks are much like the same as many other rifles, so why use the 417? Well, it's simple and easy to use. Most of all, it will slowly enter you, the player, into the game and to the level of hand-eye skills needed for an assault rifle. The building question. Now you know the weapon I picked. I used the ACOG for its clear picture and easy sight pickings and I went with a muzzle brake. For reduction of video recoil. However, if you wish, a silencer will better suit most players as well as the clear sight. In game, the gun is basic and simple to use as long as you can keep them at medium to long range. Her hip fire sadly is rather poor, and only hip fire in the event of dire emergencies, less switching to your sidearm. In my build, I went with a pistol. My supplies are one frag grenade, one flash grenade, and one tactical drone set, as the following. Slot 1, spy drone. Slot 2, UAV. Slot 3, counter UAV. And my skills are as follows. Skill 1, quick reload. Skill 2, Feather Steps, and, quit, and Skill 3, Drone Friend. They all talk for themselves. Could be replacing Quick Reload for Balance to help with multi-tapping in case of being overrun using a Marksman Scope. Now, there are some downsides to this weapon. 1. You will lose most CQB fights, 60-70% to 70 of the time. Snipers will out damage you as they are most likely one shot snipers as well. Submachine guns and shotguns will beat you, so if you see them, try to take them out at range where you can. This is a fun, cheap gun to run with, and if you suffer from itchy trigger finger and run dry, then this weapon is for you. Hope you will try this weapon and use it. It's a fun weapon to use once you unlock it. A lot more of the attachments in game. It really does open up this weapon's flexibility and versatility. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button and please do not forget to hit that bell notification as you will be told when a new video goes live. And most of all, I'm just glad to have you here watching this video today. And more importantly, please stay safe, keep your bullets flying, keep your enemies dying. I am Deceptive Cropers.